रघु मैनाली इज द डायरेक्टर ऑफ कम्युनिटी रेडियो सपोर्ट सेंटर नेपाल फोरम ऑफ एनवायरमेंट जर्नलिस्ट ही इनिशिएटेड द कम्युनिटी रेडियो मूवमेंट इन नेपाल टू स्टार्ट रेडियो सागर माता द फर्स्ट कम्युनिटी रेडियो स्टेशन इन साउथ एशिया you are from nepal and um, nepal has a uh, very good practices of community radio uh, and community uh, and other and i think there are so many other community media practices are there and, uh, and can you brief give a brief picture of your uh, the entire landscape media landscape in your country and what uh, role of community media within that media landscape okay uh, we have a uh, traditionally we have a uh, print media and there are number of broadsheet private newspaper and government owned newspaper and uh, some regional and local newspaper also there and uh, we have also television commercial television broadcasters uh, through satellite we have more than 60 different channels private channels and government owned three channels are there in the television sector uh, but the m- main problem there is the government channel are more bureaucratic bureaucratic bureaucratization of the media is there in government side and the more commercialization in private media so it's create a huge gap between in between so in this uh, situation we realize the new type of media which belongs with the people and all the things and which uh, cover the real history so about 20 years ago we started community radio movement in nepal so now we have more than 250 community radio station across the country uh, all must cover 90% of the total population in the country if we calculate the aggregated audience and the signal then 90% population can receive the community media signal because that's not in one uh, that's not through the one channel but local channel different channel so almost all geographical area covered by community media uh, you mentioned uh, the uh, 20 years of uh, history community media has in your country and that <coughs> the last 20 years in nepal passing through a transformation phase what was the role and what uh, what was the significant role media uh, community media played in that kind of uh, transformation in your country is yes, the, the through media our main role for the consciousness is the political consciousness social consciousness cultural consciousness and once they have the consciousness and awareness then they start demanding or asserting their rights and their uh, opportunity and all the things and those type of demand and those type of collective voice was the main role to transform the society so our main role we are more catalyst and change agent are there in the society so we play the catalyst role we empower them we provide them information timely information we provide them so once they have the information information itself a power so they can increase their bargaining capacity they can have a collective voice to get their rights and also the it's in the people side and the other is we uh, once we provide all information then the duty holders government institution they become more accountable to the community because they have all information there they can ask so our role was to make more accountable towards the people of this government machinery and to empower the community people so then that situation 
bring some kind of uh, different environment and different uh, social condition. You mentioned a bureaucratic uh, character of the media, other media structure in your, in your country. And uh, what was the advantage of the community media uh, compared to this bureaucratic media, uh, other media, and I mean, community media? How, what was this, how this advantage helps to involve in this, this social transformation? The, the big media always cater the lowest denominator of human interest, a scandal, big event, adventure and big personality that are very superficial things. So being a community broadcasters, we have a strength to provide contextual information with their languages which they can relate directly in their daily life. That's our strength. So, there are another strength is they can feel proud because they listen their own dialects, their own languages in this uh, field. So, they feel more comfortable and they feel more kinship of this media. So, that kinship creates uh, some kind of changes and um, uh, convincing situation we can create there and they are more receptive and more uh, positive attitude towards the media. Uh, other, uh, in your geographical landscape is a different one compared to other in the South Asian countries and uh, what was, uh, what is um, now, what are the technological challenges you are facing in establishing the community media and particularly the community radio uh, and how the digitization process is it uh, helpful or uh, is no we don't have uh, still this uh, digitalization process is started so i think uh, another 5 years there is no changes in digitalization things but uh, or geographical terrain and other things does not uh, affect those type of small media, but definitely for the big media that affects, for medium wave that affects, we need more relay transmission and terrestrial television broadcasting that affects, but for the community media, we can have a small transmitter and we can broca broadcast this peripheral areas. There might be 100,000 people, 200,000 people, 500,000 people, not more than that. So, it is, we can create a bigger family because uh, in society, this type of traditional journalism always establish that people can only listen new thing, but in life that does not work because uh, if that happened after three months of marriage there is nothing new with uh, husband and wife but in this situation if husband or wife uh, going uh, they uh, travel out after two hours they have a communication you know there is nothing new but there is the communication and the essence of communication is there wherever we are we are always together that is the sense of security so in our society there are so many other players are there like political players religious player and so many players are there so they want to divide segment the people so there are many, many confusion there and the fear there, so many things there. And I always uh, uh, remember the Martin Luther King's quotes. He says, men often hate each other because they fear each other. They fear each other because they don't know each other. They don't know each other because they can't communicate each other. 
they can't communicate each other because they are separated. So our role is, we, we can translate that quotation just opposite. Men often love, his, uh, love each other because they know each other. They know each other because they can communicate each other. They can communicate each other because they are integrated. So, if we translate that quotation just opposite, then we will have a very peaceful community there. There is no differences, there is no threat each other, there is no fear from each other. So, it, the, we can create a sense of security. So, we can create a bigger family in community. So, that is why the role of community media is very much different than other media because the big media can't focus those type of things. They always take the average issues and the lowest denominator of human interest and they cater all these type of uh, more market oriented content. So, the community is very different than the market. What are the main uh, challenges, with particularly the policy regime, and what do you expect from the? You know, what What do you? What uh, your demands or the needs for uh, good practices or for improving the practices in, within the realm of the community? There is a main challenge. Uh, we can say this: uh, if community people enter into the communication sector then the so-called traditional power elite become more conscious and they knowingly or unknowingly they start some negative comment. Even in Bangladesh, Nepal, India, all, all this sector in this region, what happened always there? Oh, now we are in the beginning we just for this is for uh, the experiment and once they do good things and then we will provide this facility what does that mean because in democracy 